So other than dragging that bar, you can also input the draw order here directly. Uh, you can click on this field and type in whatever number you want it to be. Or um, there's a arrow button here, which would expand into a pop-up menu. And you see plus one, minus one, plus 10, minus 10, and these. Click on them, they will automatically adjust or apply that uh, number to the original one. All right, so if it's 260, I can plus 10, and I'll see if it um, do whatever I need it to do. Okay, so that's the draw order. Now, as you go by the list to rename things, you might as well check them. If you notice that, well, how come the, uh, let's say the eyes is not seen here? How come both eyes are gone, but they seem like to be in? If I click them, let's see, let, let me find the eyes. I risk, oh, I can click on it, right? And let's say that uh, the draw order is way behind, maybe it's 200. And you ask, why does, why does, if I click on this eye object, I'm sure this is the iris, okay? Uh, like you you, re you renamed it to, to iris or eyeball, okay? I call it iris. And I click on it, I see the polygons, I see the red frame, but I don't see that thing. Why is it? Well, because your draw order is too low. It's lower than the things that should be behind it. So move it back up. You can slowly scroll it up and see it appears in front of everything, almost like it's merging up. Otherwise, um, just set it here, you know, you can set it right here, 450, I think it was. Yes, and that would be right. So that's the reason. Okay, so let's go through the list and rename everything. And I'll, I'll, I'll maybe I'll do it later in between episodes, but um, if you wanna do it now by all means, okay? So after you have renamed everything, uh, you can start to put them into the right group. You can leave them in PSD and work with them until you know you complete with the whole project with it, but uh, it's a bad practice. So let's go with the, from the bottom of the list. And I see right here is, I think this is a mouthpiece. So I'll put it into mouth. And I don't see other right there. So I drag, click and drag into mouth. And you see there's a plus sign here. And then there's gonna be a drawable object and layer that is up. So now that we have all the objects uh, named and in the name field, we can start to put them into the folders or the parts groups. So let's try to move them one by one, start at the bottom. Uh, these are the lips. The lips should go to the mouth along with all the inner side of the mouth. So I just highlight off all these. You can select multiple by control left click, select them uh, individually, but holding them together. Or you can use this, hold down the shift key to select a bunch of them uh, from point A to point B. So now I select a bunch of them. Uh, these are all mouths and lips, and I'll put them into the mouth group. And I can check, and they're all there. Nothing would affect the visual of it by moving in the groups. And now we can move the eyelash and eyelids to the eye group. And probably right here. Now for the iris and eye highlights. Oh, I think I'm missing eye white. Where's the eye white? Oh, there you go. Eye white R, eye white L. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off the eyelash. Now, since that we already put them in groups, you can check this eye, the, the visible visibility icon, which shows in high the texture. Uh, you can click on the group's eye and the whole group will become invisible. Or you can turn them off individually, like that. And the box next to it is the lock button. Now we don't have to worry about that right now, so uh, let's get back to that later. But what I want to show you is that the remaining parts of the eye, which includes the purple iris, the two highlight dots, and also the eye whites, these should be in the, not should be, you may, uh, you can by all means put them in any folder you like, but um, 
Uh, I will put them in the eyeball session. And then the rest would be eyelid shadow, eyebrows. Um, I'll put these in eyebrows probably. Eyebrows. And I will put the side bangs, bangs, and whatever hair back. These should be, and the tail should be in the should be in the hair session. Or actually, they have the inv individual folders. So the tail should go to hair. I would say hair side. Hair back to hair back. Bang to bangs side bang I would say hair side actually I, I would count them as a front bang because I'm talking about this piece and this piece and you know it, it's they're sort, of, they're sort of in front of the center bang so you might as well call them uh, put in the same category and then the ears should go to here the face where's the face face and ribbon, collar, the rest are the clothes and the neck part. So we'll put the bodies together in the body part. And I'll put the neck in the neck part. Alright, so now PSD should be empty, rough should be empty. You shouldn't have a guide image at this point, no background, and the rest should be filled. You can quickly check by turning on and off the eye icon to see uh, what's there and what's not there. Now if everything goes fine, then we can move on to the next part, which is um, probably setting up the formers.